Today on the channel, it's the return of the Kyle Peterson Top 5, and today on the channel, I'm counting down my Top 5 Jax Ruthless Aggression Style John Cena Figures of All Time. The Welcome everyone, Kyle here, and welcome back to the channel for another edition of the Kyle Peterson Top 5, a Thursday tradition here on the channel as I'm counting down my top 5 and occasionally top 10 favorites of something. And today on the channel, we're going a little bit deep, but really not too deep as we're counting down my top 5 favorite John Cena Ruthless Aggression Era figures of all time. And John Cena, no stranger to Jack's Ruthless Aggression style figures as he was truly him, Rey Mysterio, Orton Batista. From those years of Jack's Ruthless Aggression figures, nobody got more figures than John Cena. It seemed like he was in every single line. You had all the exclusives, all the limited editions, the classic superstars, the ring rages, the Ruthless Aggressions, the Adrenalines, the Treacherous Trios, so many different lines of wrestling figures at the time and John Cena was in about every single one of them there was never a time during that time frame you could go on the shelf and not find a John Cena figure so John Cena a million and one figures during the Ruthless Aggression days. And we're going to start this at number five and work our way all the way to number one like we do on these countdown lists. Can ask you guys, remember, this is my list. Get your list together if you could possibly even do it. I don't know how many people have a fondness of the Jax Ruthless Aggression era John Cena figures. There's got to be a few out there. But put your list in order, starting at number five, working your way all the way to number one. So without further ado, let's kick it off at number five. All right, we kick off the top five John Cena figures from the Jax days at number five. And number five is one of those That's So Jax moments, kind of. I can see people saying that, but this one goes all the way back to Adrenaline Series 5. Of course, the Adrenaline Series, a two-pack set. He was paired with the late, great Eddie Guerrero. And of course, if you remember back to their feud, their back alley brawl, parking lot brawl, whatever it was at the time, we did have that put together in a two-pack, and we got Mechanic... John Cena. This is John Cena early in his career where he still had a part-time job at the local Grease Monkey changing oil, uh, doing that kind of stuff. But when you look at John Cena over the years, of course, we got a lot of John Cena figures that look absolutely identical. We'll talk about that in this very video. So many figures that look the exact same in set to set and set, getting the most out of your molds uh, to a whole new level with that one. But this John Cena definitely felt different. In a t-shirt, blue jeans, kind of like some working boots going on, uh, some gloves, some mechanics mechanic style gloves just a very strange John Cena figure in the pantheon of all the figures he's had over so many years but just definitely sticks out and I do remember that Eddie Guerrero feud and this is John Cena before he became the John Cena we all know so there's a little bit of specialness there so when I went through all the John Cena figures I came up with this one at number five at number four in our John Cena countdown to the Jax Ruthless Aggression era style figures, number four comes from one of the many limited edition packs we got of not just John Cena, but many different characters over the years. And John Cena, no stranger, be it an Australian exclusive, a KB exclusive, Toys R Us, Walmart, Target. I think everybody got a John Cena exclusive at one time or another, but I believe this one was more of a fan channel exclusive. And it was the Chain Gang Assault Battalion John Cena. Of course, a lot of John Cena's very very similar, but the t-shirt making it different. Of course, this was a limited edition, so maybe it was a little bit special in that fact. Of course, he did come with a hat. He also came with the title belt, like a lot of John Cena's did come with. But his graphic tees, of course, were one of the things that brought John Cena to the dance. I, of course, am a guy that loves a classic t-shirt. So John Cena, with all of his different t-shirts, very, very smart when you think marketing-wise. Hey, he's got a new shirt, need a new figure. And that just keeps playing itself over and over and over, still to this day, with John Cena. But always like the looks of this one. Always like the screaming head sculpt on John Cena, too. Of course, we got some kind of just stoic, uh, kind of uh, weird-looking John Cena faces where he's just got no emotion being shown. But something about the screaming John Cena heads always won me over. And there was many, many instances where they used this head. And that's what Jax would do. They would grab uh, different hands, a different head, maybe a different torso, and bam, you got a new figure. Mix and match and all the others. But I always like this shirt, always like the green pants, of course the white shoes. Even though they're a little frustrating, it's hard to stand because they do wear out over time. But the screaming head sculpt absolutely does look awesome. Always like the looks of the head sculpt on John Cena. I think 
The Screaming Head sculpt was about the best sculpt they ever got from John Cena. And still to this day, I will hold this up to Mattel. Mattel has some good John Cena sculpts, uh, but this definitely looks like John Cena to me, especially at the end of the day. So coming in at number four is the limited edition John Cena Regret Nothing, Fear Less. All right, we're at the halfway point in the top five countdown. We're at the number three spot. Make sure you get your list together. Make sure you put it in the comments down below. And don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. All that fun stuff while you are here. But number three, we go to an interesting version of John Cena. And when I think of John Cena in the heyday of John Cena, when Cena Mania was taken over, this is the t-shirt I think of. This is the John Cena moments I think of. And what is it? We're talking about hustle. We're talking about loyalty. We're also talking about respect, a little R-E-S-P-E-C-T if you're Aretha Franklin. Uh, but always like this version of John. Of course, we got this many a times. We also got a Jax Deluxe Aggression version of this figure. But this is an interesting one, and this is what we talked about a little bit earlier, is uh, Jax get the most out of their molds, get the most out of the different series. And they had, this was in the Royal Rumble uh, pay-per-view series. This was in the Treacherous Trios 3-pack with Crime Time. They would get the most out of these. They would put a figure in a set, maybe six months later, put this in a two-pack or a three-pack. And they would do that at nauseum with John Cena, especially some of the more plain John Cena figures. You would get the same figure over and over and over, and sometimes they would only change maybe a hand that would be the only change there so an interesting go-to-market strategy but i think it did work very well for jacks for many many years as we do know but this john cena always very iconic of course the royal rumble is where i remember this from but looking good the black shoes got the jorts of course the black shirts uh very very memorable in the pantheon of john cena figures here so this one coming in at number three Getting closer and closer to the end, we're at the number two spot in our top five Jax Ruthless Aggression style John Cena countdown. And number two is quite the difference. It seems crazy that this is the same guy we know of right now. What am I talking about? We're talking about John Cena. We're talking about his rookie figure in Ruthless Aggression, of course, in his Lakers gear. And if you remember back to the old days of John Cena switching his gear up, depending on what hometown he was in, he would put the jerseys on, things like that. This was John Cena really trying to find himself and helping usher in the Ruthless Aggression era. This John Cena isn't that special. It isn't definitely his most iconic, but what's cool about this is it is his first figure, and to see where he went from this point, especially in the Jax brand, where I said earlier you get a John Cena in about every single line that was released about every single time it felt like of course had to have a loose version here but very cool to see where John Cena started where all the fuss began in the action figure game it all started right here in the Ruthless Aggression line it started early in that line and never slowed down the whole years that Jax had the license so very cool very iconic and you'd have to think eventually this could be worth a fair amount of money it is his rookie figure after all so is it the most iconic look to John John Cena? Absolutely not, but it is something that's a little bit special, and that's why it's coming in at number two on my top five countdown. All right, my time is up. My time has come as it is time to reveal the number one John Cena Jax Ruthless Aggression style figure of all time. But before we do that, make sure you get your list together. Make sure you put it in the comments down below. Don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel as we got countdown videos every single Thursday. And we're dangerously close to 27,000 subscribers. And when we do get there, we will do a special top 10 countdown. Who knows? Maybe we'll do the top 10 John Cena figures of all time or the top 10 Mattel John Cena figures of all time. We'll see what happens with that. But stay tuned and make sure you do subscribe to this very YouTube channel. But here we are at number one. And number one is about as deep of a cut as you can get in action figure form. Maybe that's one of the reasons I like it so much. But I remember when this came out, it blew my mind. And this is one of those times where Jax really blew minds across the world. Uh, figure world, how about? John Cena figure world, how about? We'll, we'll dial it down a little bit. But very, very cool, very iconic, especially to a child of the 80s like me. What are we talking about? We're talking about Ring Rage Series 17.5. Oh, yeah, one of our favorites. John Cena as Hannibal from the A-Team, of course, from the Bad Bad Man video. We all remember that with old John Cena uh, back in the day. But just so cool. Of course, I love the A-Team. I loved Hannibal. I love it when a plan comes together. So I knew I would love this figure the moment I saw this uh, being designed and whatever you want to call it, like Toy Fair, wherever they first premiered this bad boy at. And, of course, we all remember the John Cena Bad Bad Man video. 
uh, where he was kind of like the A-Team. I believe that's what it was from. Pretty sure that's the case. But very, very cool figure here. And it brings two loves together. I'm not the world's biggest John Cena fan. A younger generation. He is the ultimate warrior to a younger generation. A Hulk Hogan, Macho Man, whatever it may be. But stuff like this I absolutely love. And I love how they got the coat and the jeans and the shoes and the gloves. Just really feeling that A-Team hold in my heart. But it gets better, of course, as some may or may not know. He does come with the wig. So you take the wig off. You got the gray hair like Hannibal. Uh, just so, so cool. Just absolutely love this one. Love everything about it. Wish he had a big old cigar he was chomping on, but probably not the way to do it for a kid's toy here. But just so cool and so different. It is truly the Mattel Hollywood Elite line before the Hollywood Elite line is what we have right here. John Cena for his music video, cosplaying as Hannibal. And might as well grab the Mattel B.A. Baracus, Mr. T out. We got a little A-team reunion going on here in some kind of ways. But very, very cool. Is this a, for a hardcore John Cena fan their favorite figure? Probably not. But for somebody like me, this is really hitting all the home runs for me at the end of the day when it comes to John Cena, especially in the Jax department. But what say you guys? Put your list in the comments down below. As I said, don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to follow along on social media. Sir Paul 64 is where you're going to find me on Twitter, Instagram, the underscore Kyle underscore Peterson. And of course, don't forget about the Patreon, early access to videos like this, bonus content, exclusive content, giveaways, Q&As, you name it, it's all over there on the Patreon. So for John Cena and Jax, I'm Kyle. See you guys all real soon.